we're supposed to be meeting Diane at the bank. Well, we spoke to her last night and she was saying, you know, I do apologise in advance, you're going to be emotional because I am still really attached to the car, so we're not sure that she's going to turn up or not. We're going to have a look in the bank and see if she's there. This deal might not actually happen. And this guy came in the back of this truck and he pulled a flick knife. Hey, are you filming in here? Is that okay? Yeah. All right. I can envisage a more glorious ending than being stabbed in the bloody back trying to buy an old rusty bike to wreck a few quid. So we've just turned up at a Long Beach swap meet. It's a cycle swap meet, so they have two swaps here, so they have a car swap and a cycle swap. So this is mainly motorbikes, motorbikes, parts, push bikes. We're gonna look for old British bikes, motocross bikes, Harleys, that kind of thing. Maybe some parts, some Triumph tanks that we're after. You never know what you're gonna find here. The place is huge, there's so much stuff. We always get lucky. So our friends, Mark and Ryan, they have a stall there and we got to go and cherry pick all of the, the real good stuff before uh, Joe Public turned up. Thank you very much, guys. The offer's there at six, man. Yeah, what's the what's the price on the on the trail? Uh, this is gonna be five fifty. Does it ride? Oh yeah. Yeah. It starts. It doesn't it? have an ignition. This is it runs. The ignition. We haven't found ignition for it, but. Ah. It's a runner. It just needs to be cleaned up. You know, we started throwing parts at it. Here's the side cover. All the air cleaner stuff's all good on that yeah, side. The plastic yeah, stuff. Yeah. So that'll, that'll be a chain guard. I got the bolts to go on it. But all right. Yeah. Yeah. That one goes down the back. And I brought the bolts to put it on, but it doesn't look so hot, so I didn't put it on. And then this has the the bracket for the extra tank. Is that what that's for? Yeah, that there's, there's another extra extra tank that goes in the back. Rock in the bottom there. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. But that's just a locator. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. this this holds it on up here. Go on. This is with your best price. What's what is your best price now? Cash. Five. Five. Yeah. I was thinking more like four. I was thinking four. These things are bringing stupid money. A couple grand for a nice Oh, yeah, yeah, but they've got to be all yeah. original. They're not yeah. worth that much when they're like this. If your mate is at 450, we'd do that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's the not to love about America? The people are amazing. They're so friendly, they're so accommodating, they're so helpful. We go there with a lead for a bike or a number of bikes and that lead will normally take us in a completely different direction, meeting lots of incredible people, traveling through lots of incredible places and finding the most incredible stuff that we just can't find here. That, and that's the big excitement for us to be able to go there and find stuff that's been sat in someone's backyard for maybe 30 years and isn't a complete pile of rust that we can buy and bring back here and do something with or sell to someone who's gonna do something with is an absolute massive, massive pleasure and excitement. It's definitely not the worst one we've had. Definitely not the best. It's not the it's, best, uh, but I think we've got a good deal. Proper good deal. <laughs> right. I figured, you know, I, I know I, you buy these online for like $125 from a set and I just don't have time to sell them as I part of just wants to go and look at Tat. We'll just spend hours looking at Tat. Let's just don't get it. Two there at 50. The cigarette lighter. I'll clear out, clear out my bar and stuff. So. It's a cigarette lighter. Nice to sell. Awesome, awesome kids car. Uh, it's a copy of a 63 vet. 
uh, Corvette Stingray. And when you bought a Corvette Stingray, you got one of these for your kids, thrown in with a deal. It's like, oh my goodness. So that's just, it's just, it is an amazing, amazing thing. What's a thousand dollars for it? So it's a, it's a bit out of our range, but uh, but yeah, it's that's just such a cool thing, isn't it? 63 Corvette. Walking around Long Beach, what mate, and we, we thought we'd pretty much seen everything. We walked around this corner and there was the back of a truck. Uh, big truck, loads of rusty stuff on the floor, a couple of rusty bikes, and I noticed there was some bikes in the back of his truck. Our cameraman Adam started filming us rummaging through this stuff, finding these old bull tacos and quite rare old Montessas, and then all of a sudden this guy came in the back of this truck and he pulled a flick knife on Adam. Hey, are you yeah. filming in here? Get out. Okay. Yeah, all right. The look on Matthew's face was like, and then and Adam was like, are we okay filming? And he was like, it was dead aggressive. I haven't been in a situation like that before, and it was very, very scary. He could have just pulled the back down and driven off in them berries in the desert somewhere. It wouldn't have made a good ending. It turns out in the end that he was trying to have a joke, but I mean, what a crazy thing to do, to just turn up, flick a knife on someone, threaten them. I definitely know that uh, our cameraman was very, very scared for his life at the time, and it took us all a good couple of beers to recover from the situation. Fire straight up. Yeah, we, yeah, we just right heard it. Right we saw this yeah. bike earlier That's on. It's a 1978 Honda XR 75. So before this week, I've read about them, I've seen pictures of them, but I've never actually seen one. Uh, and this week, we've seen three of them. So uh, I spotted it this morning, asked the guy how much he wanted. He wanted $1,000, uh, which was too much. I offered him six. He wasn't prepared to take it. And throughout the day, I've been walking backwards and forwards past the stall to see if he'd changed his mind. Anyway, we've spent most of our money now, so I don't really have six left in my pocket. So I just went and asked him how much the $500 bike was, and he agreed to do the deal at five. So if he'd have done the deal earlier, it'd have been $100 up. But there you go, chuffed, proper chuffed. A lot of people will have had these when they were kids, <laughs> even into the 80s and 90s and stuff. Uh, and we did have them in the UK, uh, but obviously there wasn't as many of them, so there's a lot less of them now. We came here today with, uh, it was dark, it was raining at the time. We found loads and loads of stuff. Two really cool bikes, CT70 Honda. Uh, he's, he's all running and riding. Uh, Matthew found an XR75 that he's always wanted, so I can see that one staying. Uh, but yeah, we had a fantastic day. We found loads and loads of stuff here. Uh, and that's what means. Oh, boy! You haven't been at Mark's place for so long. Oh, my hey. God, man! How's it How going? Ron, I just need to ask you a question. Cameraman Adam seems to get into these life threatening scrapes. So he's been threatened with a gun in England. And he got threatened with a knife yesterday. Are you going to look at? Terrible. Are you going to look after the cameraman, or would you, or would you save yourself first? No, I'll help the cameraman out. Really? Yes. No one cares about the cameraman. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> We bought this Willys car, super, super nice car, really good condition. It's sort of a really sentimental thing for Diane to get rid of. Her children are saying you need to sell them to move on and make space in the garage. We're just not sure. We spoke to her last night on text and she was saying, you know, I do apologise in advance, it's going to be emotional because, uh, I, you know, I am still really attached to the car, so... We're not sure that she's going to turn up or not. Before we were due to meet her, we'd called her a few times and she hadn't answered the phone. And then we turned up there we were waiting outside the bank for ages. We were probably waiting half an hour or more, uh, thinking that she'd go in back on the deal. We're going to have a look in the bank and see if she's there. This deal might not actually happen. Eventually, one of us went into the bank and she was just sat there waiting for us to turn up. She'd been there the whole time. 
she's really cool. She's, she's not too unhappy. But what she has just confirmed is that she wants to sell the hot rod as well. Uh, she wants $13,000 for the hot rod. So I said, not going to argue. So I just come outside to tell you because I know you're not lying to the bank of the camera. <laughs> to get the car ready to be moved so loads of stuff underneath it loads of stuff inside it I'm sorry it's so dirty no 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 no, no, it's, no, no not. it's good it's not do you know what we'd prefer it to be like this the hand signals are supposed to work from the right hand side so this is turning right uh that's slowing down that's turning left <laughs> but i don't think this is gonna work the same <laughs> The car is very, very fragile, it's, it's not been moved for a long time. And then uh, we've now got to strap it down, so we've got to be careful with it so we don't damage it. But we've also got to make sure it doesn't fall off the trailer, so we've got to be cruel to be kind. Thank you very much. Super. Thank you. Bye -bye. Very welcome. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. The front two wheels, they went on fine. The back wheels wouldn't go in. Matthew, is this really going to fit on the back of the trailer? I, I have my doubts, I'll be honest with you. So we always enjoy going to Pomona Swap Meet. The Pomona Swap Meet is petrol head heaven. Phil, Phil, we need to stop petting these dogs and go and buy a truck. <laughs> <laughs>